Hello and welcome to Celtic Down Under. This is Jared joined by David from the Kuala Lumpur Celtic Supporters Club in Malaysia. How are you going, David? I'm doing well, thanks, mate. Thanks for your time with this. This is um, episode two for our uh, podcast series on uh, the CSCs. Uh, so do you want to tell us a little bit about your CSC? When was it founded and by who? Yeah, sure, no problem. <clears throat> I should probably give a shout out first to the guys who sort of went before us, who, who were the Sean Maloney uh, CSC. And they've been running for a while, but uh, I think just changes in the economy and stuff saw a lot of the oil guys go. So the Sean Maloney, Sean Maloney was, was born in uh, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so I used to attend those uh, but it just seemed to die away. So um, after some time, and I'd, I, I'd left Malaysia and gone back to, to Scotland, uh, and I really wanted to start something up. So um, after the 2016-2017 uh, season, um, I'd been up in Singapore. I'd been passing through Singapore, coming back to Malaysia. And one of the guys there, Sean, had said that a friend of his uh, had mentioned from Bangkok CSC that um, there was a guy there that uh, in, uh, Mal- in Malaysia that wanted to do the same thing. So um, I happened to be up in Bangkok CSC. It was the last game of the season. It was that Rajit goal, that wonder goal <laughs> that won us the, the treble. Um, and the, the boys there gave me a contact of someone, uh, his name is Vince, uh, who had now retired uh, and you can all be envious because he's only 55 and he's retired into um, Kuala Kuala Lumpur now. A um, yeah, a dream, right? So uh, I got in touch with Vince and we met uh, in the bar that we are now, and we just said, right, well, let's just start this and let, let's let's get moving. So we we decided to do Kuala Lumpur CSC, really because maybe someone else somewhere in Malaysia could set up something else. So we just decided rather than Malaysia CSC, we'll, we'll go for Kuala Lumpur CSC. So that's that's pretty much how it, it started. That's great to hear. I love the sort of stories. It's the whole purpose of this podcast. It's more for me being born and bred here in Australia, but with family connection to the club. I'm uh, always interested to hear the story about how the CSCs got set up and yeah, and people's love for the club, so it's always a great thing. So, um, whereabouts do you meet up for games? So we meet up in a place called Sebastian's Gastro Bar, and um, it's actually a sort of Venezuelan rocker bar, which somehow morphed into this sort of place where everyone and anyone comes along and meets. And it was actually my wife who found the bar because we were again we we're. I've been in Malaysia nine years and I went back to Scotland for sort of nine months to do a, a, a job there, came back and we were looking for places to stay. My wife uh, found us a place to stay and she found the bar and said, you need to go along because I think you'll like it. Um, so went along to the bar. I don't know how many wives actually say that to their husbands, but yeah, my wife said, go along, you'll, you'll enjoy it. And I got talking to the guys there and uh, we were just sort of, yeah, just talking about Celtic, I was saying about you know, some of the passions that and then Sebastian who runs it, you know, he of his own accord never spoke to me didn't didn't tell me anything about it, just WhatsApp me one night, says, bro, come down to the bar, I've got something I want to show you and he got one of his friends who was uh, in Scotland to go and get a, a big Celtic flag and he put it up in the bar it was like, my goodness, that's amazing. That's incredible. He'd done it off his own bat. You know, he'd never really been involved with Celtic at all. And it was just amazing that he'd gone and done that. Off his, just just by the stories I was telling about Celtic and how it was born, the idea of the charity and all the rest of it. And he just fell in love with that idea and decided, yeah, you're going to be here. Uh, and that's how that's why we're at Sebastian's Gastro Bar. That's great because, uh, yeah, doing that off his own bat, it shows his heart's in the right place he wants to have it grow with you so that's always yeah that's great great feeling on that one so how regularly are the games shown at the csc so um every league game uh is shown um um most of the cup games and then the european games because they're usually about sort of 3 45 40 a.m in the morning 
look, if there's someone coming in and they really want to see a game, the boys at the bar will keep it open and we'll show the game. A lot of the guys, most of the guys are kind of work, have to work in the morning, so we, we might not all sort of uh, group around and go to the, the European games. But if we've got visitors coming through and they really want to see the game, then we'll for sure show it. Yeah, it's a bit like that down here as well. So how many members do you currently have for the CSC? Uh, yeah, that's an interesting one because there's... Um, we've got in the we have a WhatsApp group and we've got 28 members in the WhatsApp group, but we've got sort of about seven or eight hardcore regulars that that, that come along. So we find that we get a lot of people travelling through to see family in Australia, New Zealand, uh, who come find us out, and then we get these these great visitors coming through. And I think that's part of the joy is that we get. These lovely people coming through, uh, again, the passion for Celtic. And it kind of, it, it's it's lovely because, you know, you're here, you're very far away from home, but you get these, you know, fresh from from Glasgow or Scotland people coming through. So it, it's wonderful. So it can really, it can go from seven up to quite a few, depending on the game, depending on the time of year. And do you have actual memberships and, and a process to become a member of the CSC or is it just like we have a pub and we all just go down there yeah pretty much we do that we, we've not really we, we don't charge anything at all um, for 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 watching the games um, we don't really we don't ask for anything of anybody we, we t- if we've got a new we, we tend to be really excited if we've got someone coming so we, we end up buying them you know the first round and stuff just to just because it's great to have people come in um so we don't we don't uh, do anything around membership um maybe in the future if we keep growing possibly if that makes sense but all it would do would be to sort of raise money for charity or something yeah that was one of my other questions i had for you was like if you did have memberships and you could could people bring out of town uh, bring their friends or bring or out of town people like ones from glasgow or from australia or the us or wherever you're coming from uh, oh, we, we love that. We love that. Attend. Absolutely, and we and we kind of like um, we do get some uh, people from other persuasions and other clubs to come, and we kind of just let it go. And if they want to see the game as well, you know, with some Hearts and Hibs fans, and just because we've got everything set up to be able to show games, we kind of go okay, it's fine. So as long as you know that you know they're, they're good people, their hearts in the right place, we do it. But if it's Celtic people. Bring your, bring all your family. Bring everybody. All right. So, do you do any raffles or promotions or any fundraisers throughout the year, or do you support any charities at all? So we do. Um, we one of our members is a professor of medicine here uh, from the Royal College of Surgeons in Dublin, uh, and one of the things that's you know close to his heart is the fact that you know there's sort of palliative care. So sometimes he'll do stuff to raffle and you know create awareness or just raise money. So we, we will do that occasionally. What we do do is we we what we don't take money from people. We we take all of the spare coins. Um, and we can quite rapidly just pulling coins off people, convert that into ringgit, and not far from where the the bar is, there's a there's a a, a place called Rumakita, and this is mostly Malay run, where um, uh, mothers, single mothers, or those who find themselves in situations can go into a very safe place and they look after them, and then babies from you know first born to about one year have a place to to be safely so we basically take everything like that and turn it into to ring its cash and then we'll just either buy milk for the babies or we'll buy um just for the staff we'll get them coupons to to provide food and stuff like that so we do that fairly fairly regularly probably not regularly enough but yeah that's the kind of stuff we do that's great to hear because yeah with the club being founded for basically the way to help families and charity and that sort of thing in our background it's always yeah, great food on, the food on the table of children that's the kind of strap thing we kind of thought of yeah it's always great to have that link and i see that a lot with different cc so it's great to hear about what you guys are doing really support that so uh and plus who's really going to miss a couple of couple of coins here and there yeah it's nothing and it builds up quickly 
Is your CSC linked to any local football clubs over in Malaysia, like junior so, clubs or anything? That, that's an interesting question because we, we hadn't been, but um, um, it, it was interesting because we a new member, Gaz, just found us um, on um, uh, just through word of mouth, actually, from other people that went to the bar, realised that we were here, and he came down and... Actually, one of the things he might be doing is setting up in an agreement with Celtic itself to set up a Celtic Academy, which is, that's really exciting. Um, I'm not sure how advanced it is. He, they certainly have had a, 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 a first draft contract from Celtic itself. So um, if that happens, that would be incredible. Um, so he's here coaching. You know, he's done all of his coaching sets and all the rest of it. So if that takes off, wow. That that would be amazing. That takes off. I'd want to hear more about that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Personally, because that's yeah. that's incredible. So yeah. Um, yeah, keep us posted on how that all goes. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any stories from within your CSC that you'd like to share with us? Um, yes. Any? Well, I have a few. A few I can't tell you, um, but a few. <laughs> um, the, sort of the one that was most memorable to me. There's the, there's a guy Steve who who runs the French CSC and he works in um, like um, broadcasting. So he goes around the world and um, doing most of the major uh, sporting events, and there happened to be one in. Uh, Malaysia and he came along and he, he, if you haven't met Stephen just reach out to him he's just brilliant he runs a French CSE they've, they've just recently moved from Harp Bar in Paris we're actually twinned with them believe it or not we actually twinned with them um, and that, that that was great and just his being around the, and he knows the guys that he's you know Singapore Tim's and various locations around the world so um, he, he came along and he he was here for two or three weeks and got to know the guys and loved it. And um, Sebastian happens to have a tattoo parlor upstairs from the bar itself. That's dangerous. And we were, we, we were watching a we were watching a European game, so it was the very early small wheels. And we're at the bar, and um, there wasn't many of us there. And Steve and Sebastian have gone upstairs to... It's kind of like a studio. It's an art studio and a, a tattoo studio there. So time was passing. I was just playing pool with a couple of the guys at the bar. And I was like, where, where is he? What, what's he done? Where, where is he? And then... And, and literally, probably after a few beers, time was much longer. But then he comes downstairs and he's got his arm in cellophane... <laughs> <laughs> with, with like the af- aftermath of a tattoo on his arm, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god! And he'd been telling me about his wife, and he'd introduced me to his wife, and I, I just went in a panic attack. I was like, I'm going to have to tell your wife. You're my responsibility. I'm, I'm going to have to tell. So they'd done this, and it looked like a sailor's tattoo, and they'd spelt it Celtic with an S. <laughs> and I was like. What have you done? What have you done, you idiot man? What have you done? And then, and then after I'd sort of started going in a meltdown and I was going, and then he phoned his wife and he'd sent her pictures of it. And then she's going nuts back in Paris, going, what have you done, you idiot? So as it turns out, it wasn't a tattoo. They just constructed... They'd, they'd taken a whole series of pictures with him in the chair and everything. It was just a trace on. I was like, oh, they had me. I'll send you. Once you see the pictures, if you see the pictures, you'll realise how realistic it was. And ah, uh, man, that had me. It was done yet. Yeah. So if Steve hears this, which he will, thanks very much, mate. Yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> Good stitch up that. Love it. <laughs> yeah, major. All right, so um. What's the most memorable match that the CSC has hosted and why? So we kind of like obviously we're new, so we've 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 had a great few nights and and so on. But I, I was I was thinking back about you know one of the best nights and we, we've here in the Kuala Lumpur we've got a few students at Heriot Watt uh, campus or Heriot Watt University have a campus here, uh, so we we occasionally get the guys coming down from that, um, and it was. Uh, 
it was last year, and it was a it was a Glasgow derby against the the Sevco. Uh, uh, if, you know, the old firm doesn't exist, mate. So, so it was a it was a Glasgow derby against the Sevco, and uh, you know, obviously we won. And so, in the bar itself, there's kind of live music, and what, one of the guys there at the bar, Lorenzo, um, will go up and he'll do an acoustic. And the Harriet Watt students, they somehow they all just took over the mic <laughs> and, we, we and, the, and it was great and it worked incredibly well they just took over the mic and they were sitting they were great performers and they so we just had this night of celebration with live music them singing moving between Lorenzo and them and he was just playing the best songs ever on the acoustic and stuff and it was just fantastic it was just the thing you kind of look back at them and go beyond the football this is the this is the things we do it for so yeah that was that was an amazing night so they learn any of the ribs or what (laughs) <laughs> oh no, they knew them all. They knew them all. These okay. these guys knew them. Oh no, these are Harriet Watt students from Scotland, so oh, they were okay. sorry, Mark. they were all full on, yeah. yeah. They 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 were all full on, so that's great. Yeah. Man. Would love that. And we do play the Rebs in the bar as well, so we don't care. Yeah. yeah, good. That's what we like. Yeah. Have you had any former players or any famous fans attend the CSC, either this one or your previous form that you're aware of? So, so not so far. Um, um, so, um, Stan Collymore has actually reached out to us and said because he and Paul Lambert actually do stuff for Astro here. So there's Astro Stadium uh, here where all the major games get hold, uh, held, and um, he said he'll come down for a, a pint of the black stuff. And one of our members, Brian, who's now in Seoul, um, he met Paul on a flight back to Glasgow and he told them about the CSC. So if if those guys do come back, we will obviously, um, we'll obviously get them into the bar. But I, I'd like to take the opportunity here just to mention something uh, that's coming up and it, just to give everybody a lot of notice for it. Um, there's um, a few guys, uh, ex-players, going to the Bangkok CSC. Uh, uh, it's the 13th of March uh, next year. Um, so you've got Alan Thompson... Paul Byrne and George McCluskey attending that. Uh, I think, and I think there's another another event um, within that week going to ha- take place in Pattaya. So um, you know, just a shout out to the Bangkok CSC because they're great supporters of us, and you know, we know each other, we know the the Saintums as well. They're, they're a great bunch of lads. So uh, I, you know, shout out to them for for organising that, and hopefully enough people hear about that and make it a great event. Yeah, so next year we've got a couple of um, events on. So you've got the one in Thailand, as you said, in March next yeah. year. And then in, I think it was June, in down here in Melbourne, we've got the Huddle yeah. Down Under as well. So would it, have, you, have you guys heard of that or have any of your... Yeah, we definitely CSC have. Coming? Yeah, we've got, I've got a lot of family down there. I, I've been to Sydney uh, uh, CSC, uh, watched a European game. I think it was against Juventus. <laughs> Um, and um, wasn't a great result, but it was a 9 a.m. in the morning or something kickoff. Um, I haven't. I've, I know uh, Madura CSC, um, Pear CSC, so we know a few of the guys, and we've had great support from them. Um, and I, I would love to make it just simply the fact that we've got, you know, I've got family. A lot of the guys have family, so we love to. Um, at the last event, uh, my nephew Mark managed to get uh, John Hartson to give us a shout out to Kuala Lumpur CSC. So uh, we we cherish that video. So it's you know we look forward to having the opportunity to you know collecting these videos and promoting ourselves as well through it as well. So yeah, I'd love to. Great. Well, um, yeah, if any of you are going to come down, let us know, and we'll. Because uh, I'm, I'm actually the one from Celtic down under, based in Melbourne, so let us know and uh, yeah, yeah. Get, get you down to CSC guys and with our local blokes, and I'll introduce you. So it'd be great. That would be fantastic. All right. So last thing I've got on my list of questions here, unless you want to add anything else, is um, social media for the supporters club. You yeah, got Twitter at. At Kuala Lumpur yeah, underscore Kuala Lumpur, CSC. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a Facebook page as well? We, we used to have, and we had this uh, random young man, and I'm not going to mention his name because he's a joy 
but he was very random and he managed to get us shut down. I don't know what he did to get us shut down on Facebook. I don't know what he was doing. He, he, he liked a drink or two, so he would randomly sort of... So we don't have Facebook. But honestly speaking, um, we didn't get much traffic through Facebook. So what we found is Twitter is way and above the way in which most people seem to find us these days um we, we can set up a page and we can do that we can do our own web page and stuff but it doesn't seem to be the way in which people uh find us uh twitter right. seems to be the way uh, we've got great support uh from uh, lots of other cscs um around the world because we're kind of tend to be in some group chat on whatsapp or whatever so that seems to be the way, and I think for the while we'll, we'll stick with that. And if there's another platform comes up, we'll, we'll, we'll take up whatever it is that helps us advertise ourselves, lets people know where we are. You'll have a fantastic time. You'll be more than welcome. Bring your friends, bring your family. It doesn't cost anything. Beer is cheap. The games will be on. Come see us. Sounds good to me. So, um, yeah, what I've found as well is, yeah, dealing on Twitter is a lot easier because you get the, uh, the quicker... Quicker interaction on there. Quicker response, etc. Yeah, comes yeah. up on your phone. Yeah, it's good. It's a lot easier that way than the old Facebook. So, yeah. So at Kuala Lumpur underscore CSC, everyone, give it a follow. Um, thanks for your time with us, David. Appreciate learning something about your CSC. And um, yeah, looking forward to if you come down at all for the huddle down under. Meeting you then. That would be fantastic. Look forward to it, buddy. All right, no worries. Thanks, mate. Hail, hail.